I read it in sixth grade, and what I remember was some animals are more equal than others. That was the only thing I really remembered, and I knew that was messed up. George Orwell wrote this in 1945, but I think what people are going to appreciate about this particular show is that the themes are universal to what's going on in society today. We're going to see class tyranny. We're going to see um, the way media manipulates information to control people. It sounds kind of grim, but what people are going to really enjoy about this production is uh, he wrote it as a satire. So there's some great characters in it. And people are going to recognize some of those traits and those characters that exist in our world today. I've played a dog, I've played a rabbit, I've played a squirrel, a mole, a bird, and now a pig. This is my first time playing a pig. I play Boxer the Horse, who's the proletariat. Although we're, we talk and we're upright, we still try to incorporate the, those mannerisms into our character. It's gonna be the most technically advanced show we've ever done in terms of having original animation. Basically the barn doors will open and there's a projection from the inside of the barn. Animation is just a really cool way to bring those scenes that are so huge and epic and make it accessible and something that can be done with a stage production. The Battle of the Cowshed is when Jones comes back with a posse of farmers and all of the pigs and the horses and the sheep and chickens and everyone is out there attacking and they're fighting a war, basically, and the animals are eventually victorious. I mean, one of the things I'm proud of that we do is we always have a show that's aimed at older audiences that covers topics that people don't necessarily think about talking about with kids. I think that's really exciting for families to have that opportunity with their teenagers. I hope that people will give it a shot and say, because it's family theater doesn't mean it's just for kids, because we really are looking at the whole age range of family, and that can be single people without kids, it can be grandparents, you know, whatever. It's really hopefully something that's going to reach everybody. Let's see if I can do it here. I'm not warmed up. Uh. <laughs>